watch Derek for a second here. The this is on at lunchtime, and I had a drone out this morning, and you're fixing to see that tacked on to the end of this right here, all drone footage, and I'm gonna narrate it. And there's one part in the drone footage, and I happen to catch it on camera that's pretty cool. Derek cut a tree down that had a big fork in it, and both forks broke out of that thing, and one of them landed right across his cab. I could actually hear it up here. I couldn't see it except on the screen of the, of the phone. See that piece that just slung out right there? Uh, I could just see it on the screen where I was filming. I couldn't see the drone. I couldn't see him, but but I could I could, uh, I could hear it when it landed on him there and so, of course I seen it there but he's cutting uh, this is a pretty steep sideline of a ridge right here that goes all down so he's starting it he's gonna cut them three right there and then we're gonna eat or he's gonna eat I'm fixing to walk down here and eat now so uh, I'm not sure if I'll come back after the drone footage is done or not we'll see here but uh, enjoy this footage so let's Take us a ride in there right quick. I was fueling my loader and I need to move my pickup truck. So when I got up there where my truck was, I just got the drone out and took off. You can see the track here. This is coming onto the track. You see all the green, real green, lush looking. That's what we cut back in December of 2018. And you can see the cut line of what we're cutting right now how it's kind of, as I'm approaching it right there where it's bare looking. And look across the horizon. Look at all the timber, it's just solid trees. You know, people worry all the time that we're gonna cut all the trees down. <laughs> and uh, man, they're just, they're everywhere. So in this clip here, if we keep watching, I think it's about the seven minute mark or right around in there. There's a real good uh, clip there of a forked tree breaking and falling directly on t top of Derek on the cab there of his machine. And, uh, and I got it all on the drone. So I'm just flying around. We're going to watch Derek for a little bit right here. What he's doing is right here, I'm actually zooming the drone. I'm not flying it forward. That was a zoom on it. Right in front of him, what he's cutting on right there, that's a creek. There's a creek down in there. And he's cutting to what's called an S is in Scott, M is in me, a Z is in zone. So an SMZ zone. That stands for Streamside Management Zone. And we cut those, we leave a strip of timber. And the reason why we do is, is because that strip of timber is like a buffer on that creek. It acts kind of like a silt fence for that creek, and it also provides shade for that creek to keep the water from heating up too hot during the summertime and, you know, killing all the organisms and the animals, you know, the fish and stuff like that that are, you know, in, in the water in that creek down there. So the, the larger the creek, the bigger the buffer that you leave on it. So uh, you can take... 50% of the trees out of that buffer there, of like a 50% canopy. And uh, so you can take some of them out, but, but what happens right here is this is some very tedious cutting. It's not anything that you can just dive off in and just bomb trees. You have to work your way into it and kind of turn them out and throw them. And it is a slight hill right here that he's working on too. And uh, it's just, it's time consuming to uh, to cut like this. So Derek starts the process. He cuts the trees and he puts them in piles. And then of course that's Chad right there in the 635, the buggy machine that y'all seen us the last two days, um, in the last two videos rather, you know, working on that gravel cylinder uh, on that thing, repacking it cylinder and uh so Derek puts them in a pile chad grabs them and then chad gets them from there and he's taking them he's fixing to as soon as he gets turned where he can get on up this hill here he's gonna head toward kevin and the processor and uh 
take drag the trees up there with the tops in them and then Kevin process them. I get asked a lot, would it not be better for Kevin to follow Derek around processing? No, it, not for us. It wouldn't because then we we cut everything. So we have all those little short tops and stuff like that. And it would just be a nightmare picking all that stuff up and bunching all that stuff up. Even though Derek could, I mean, Kevin could put it in the piles. It just, man, it just wouldn't be feasible for us to do it that way. We tried it that way when we first got the processor. But the way that we do it, it right here, pulling to Kevin with the treetops in the trees and then letting him process them, that's the best way for us to do it. And if you'll notice when we're coming into this, in the view here where Kevin is, notice the pile of timber right there that Kevin's got processed up. The, the processor's like a bat wing bush hog man when you go to the field with it you're, you're going to cover some ground you're going to cover some ground quick that's the way the processor is the processor just it just works through the trees so well and it it, it doesn't matter whether it's hardwood or pine or or whatever we do cut a lot of hardwood and there's a lot of hardwood mixed in on this job right here where Derek's cutting right now it's predominantly for the most part a lot of pine there is some there is some kind of mixed hardwood mixed in and then once Kevin processes them, then then Chad grabs the tops. Those are top the length, well the limbs, and so he takes them back out there to where Derek is, and in places where he's not going to be running anymore, he'll take those limbs and he'll scatter them out like that skid trail right there he's on right there. If you don't put anything on it when it rains, that's going to wash. So as Derek works around and then Chad quits skidding right there in that spot, there it is right there. It's a seven minute mark is what it is. I'm gonna put it in slow motion right here. Watch it. You see there's one forward, there's a second forward. The one hit toward the end of his head out there, and I couldn't see that from where I was except on my phone screen. But I heard it when it hit that machine, and man, it hit it hard. And that's just a testament to how well these machines are built in how they have to build them they have to build them to where stuff falling on it can protect the operator because if they didn't it would just kill you so he's grabbing the tops now that broke off and man when that happens when you're an operator like Derek, right there i can tell you exactly what's going through his mind he, you get you get very mad when that happens because it hits that calf so hard sometimes you know it's coming you can tell it sometimes you don't and uh, it just it fires you up man it just it's aggravating but i so saw just flew over kevin and this is the kind of behind me from where i'm standing what we just cut this week and you can kind of see the terrain how it kind of lays and that's one thing about the strong this kind of surprised me is uh how well you can see what everything looks like the terrain and stuff like that but i'm gonna spin it back around when I spin it back around, you'll see a truck come into view, and that's when I have to put my toy up and go back, start loading trucks, and uh, get going. So you can see all this lace. You see the dust over there on that road where that truck's coming up. So there's a truck right there. You can see it coming in the frame, and uh, so it's time for me to get back loading. Appreciate y'all watching. Thank y'all. <laughs>
It's just hard to beat the sound of that right there. It's so cool. Well, we got this side done. I just got to load out this wood here. We're going on to the, uh, let's see, it'd be the north side. No, the south side. I'm backwards. That's the south side of the track down there. This is, uh, I found out the acreage on this one. This was an 80. And we cut over half of it when we were here the first time. So we shouldn't have a whole lot left on this one. And then we've got, I think it's a 30. It's on down this road here. Once we get through with this one that we're going to uh, fix up. Something happened to it. I don't know the history on it, but it's not a normal uh, pine track. So we'll... We'll get on it. It's just got a bunch of ratty stuff on it and everything. So we'll, we'll work on that. But we're going to head toward the house now and see what we can get into. I know y'all can't see it. There's the trucks and everything. But this hill right here, buddy, is going to give us fits right here. You can see the top of my loader up there. We probably going to have to pull trucks up this one, I bet. And then that one going up. The other side, and this stuff is crazy. It just goes down and then right back up. Yeah, never a dull moment. 